Hi all. So I am again here with another video on AS400. So this time I am gonna discuss that how we can identify whether any job uh, which is currently running either it is interactive or batch in CLS400. So we will be uh, specific to CLS400 here. So I am not talking about RPG. I am not talking about uh, any AS400 uh, commands way so I'm talking about CL only CL programming so how I can I can check whether a job is in interactive mode or in batch mode in CL program so let's see I just written one program so you can see I, I use the retrieve job a command and if I take a four here F4 here so you can see the parameter type and where I define one character length job type variable and so this parameter will give me whether the job is interactive or batch so if its value is 0 then it's running in the batch job if the job is running is a batch job and if it's type is one then the job which is running currently is the interactive job so I have to declare this variable as minimum character length one and I'll be using this retrieve job a command then I am sending the message to the program message queue that is bad job is running or interactive job is running. let's compile this program is compiled successfully so let's debug this program in interactive way so let's set the breakpoint then call this program qna6 so we are basically calling this program interactively so currently job type is blank then it will return us job type as one means it is interactive job so it will send the message interactive job is running now do and debug first now just submit this job and call this program QNS6 job name would be say test job job Q would be Q batch here and when I am submitting this job I need to uh, hold this job so I would be setting this parameter as yes then I would submit this job this job gets uh, trigger now and we job has been assigned a job number or you can say job attributes let's first because we did the submit job means it is in batch so we need to debug this job so we need to do STS STRSRV job for this and uh, using the same job attributes which are here so it's done now do STRDVG QNA6 So uh, if at this time you want to put the breakpoint you won't be able to put the breakpoint because the job is not active right now so what I'll do I'll release that job first just do work user job and take 6 here to release the job as you can see job is now released the service job has been released from the job queue press enter to start the job 
or F10 to enter the debug commands for that job. So what I would be doing? First I would be setting the breakpoint. So for that purpose I need to press F10. If I press enter, the job gets started without putting the breakpoint and it will get in. So we won't be able to debug our program. So we need to press F10 here. Now we do DSP mod SRC, display module source, then set the breakpoint at line number one. Take F12, F12 and then again F12. Now we, you will be on the same screen. Now press enter. So you are in that program now. Just see its value is blank right now. Now its value is zero, which means it is a bad job. So send program message executed successfully. So if I look at this 5 10 F10 shift F6, so you can see this message is sent. Bad job is running. And now the program gets ended. Job being serviced is ended now. So what we need to do now, we need to end debug first. And then end SRV job. So you have seen that how we can uh, figure out whether the job is batch job or an interactive job so job type will let us know uh, if it's zero it's a bad job if it's one it's interactive job so we need to use this command retrieve job a to figure out whether it's bad job or the interactive job currently running so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time